Welcome to a completely new language called Modelica. We will be using uh, Modelica in two different modes. So I'm going to give you a bit of a, a tour through uh, both of these different modes. The model in Modelica should give you the, the hint that it is something to do with modeling. And the goal of the Modelica language is to formalize and uh, simplify a whole lot of operations that are common uh, in modeling. So Modelica models have two sides. Uh, the one side is a graphical side where uh, as part of the Open Modelica standard library, when you open up Open, open Modelica, the editor, let's just make a new one, so test graphical. On the, on the graphical level, you can drag things from this palette over here, and I'm going to just keep, we're going to be using quite a lot of these, um, these blocks in later parts. Uh, I have a video that more closely explains how this all works. Initially, I'd like you to just kind of experiment with it. We're not going to be um, using it in, in a huge amount of depth, but it's useful if you just kind of have an idea of how this all works, um, because we're going to be mostly focusing on the text version of this in a second. So I just want to show you that it is possible to do uh, kind of a very simple version of modeling where we can say take a system like this and maybe have, so that uh, represents a step in, uh, in an input and I can then have that go through some kind of a continuous system. There's a couple of kind of built-in default boxes where I can take a, let's say, we'll later learn exactly what this means, but let's say I can take one of these kinds of systems over here and I can connect them together. And so by, by building this graphical model over here, I have now actually defined a set of equations. I can uh, verify that the model is correctly specified by clicking on the green checkbox at the top of the toolbar, that'll verify stuff. And by now, the words that are being used here should all suddenly make sense. This will make a lot more sense than it would have two weeks ago, right? So what is this telling us? It's telling us that there are three equations, there are three variables, that's good news for us because that means that because the number of equations and the number of variables are equal, the, the model is correctly specified and we can successfully solve uh, the set of equations that are uh, contributed by these blocks. Then we can simulate this. Unfortunately, my screen, when I'm connected to the overhead, the, they collapse down. This usually will be normally visible in your, in your uh, toolbar that simulate. Uh, there are two options here. That's kind of simulate without setting settings. Unfortunately, the settings are quite important for us because the defaults you'll see when I click on the, this one, where, which actually brings us to this dialog, you'll see that the default stop time for simulations is one second, which for chemical engineers is not that practical. Very few of our systems uh, have reasonable dynamics that finish within one second. I'm gonna make that uh, a little bit longer. And the, it wants us to save stuff, so let me just save. Unfortunately, you can't actually run the model without saving. Many confusing dialogues will now pop up as it's doing stuff behind the scenes. You can safely ignore those dialogues and it will uh, take you now to some, something that you may not have noticed when we opened up, which is that at the bottom there are all these tabs. We're now in the plotting tab. We started out in the modeling tab. And so if I just wanna go back to the model, I can click on that modeling tab and get back there. Uh, the normal situation is that I'll start writing down my model in the modeling section, I'll simulate, it will automatically take me to the plotting section, and at this point I can kind of click on things and I'll see the dynamic response. So in the best case, if Medallica contains components that already successfully model all the things that you're trying to model, you will not have to write a single line of code. You'll just drag these blocks onto that palette you'll connect everything correctly, set the configuration correctly, and, and click play. Uh, 
and then it'll do the simulation, it'll automatically uh, collect all the equations, figure out that everything is correctly specified, it supplies those tools that allow you to check that, so it'll check how many parameters you have, how many inputs and outputs and so on, it'll tell you that everything is fine, or it'll tell you that it's not able to run the simulation because the degrees of freedom are not correctly specified, so that's all included in this package, right? Um, and so, Later on in the subject, we'll spend a lot of time in that block mode, mostly because uh, we are going to be systematically simplifying the complicated models that we start out with in study theme one until they are so simple that they can relatively easily be reproduced by just the behavior of that small number of blocks. Now, behind each of these models, uh, let me just show you what the code looks like here. So this is what the code is for the model that we have just built. So we've built a model that contains two blocks and we have specified that they are connected together. And that is now the Medallica code for that same graphical view. So every Medallica model, uh, every one of the Every one of the models in the standard library and every one of the models that you will build, even if you are building it in the graphical mode, has a one-to-one -one equivalent textual representation. So you can write code and have that become graphics, or you can drag the graphics and have it become code. You can edit in either one of those uh, sections. So if you are unhappy with one of the values that you used, you can go and edit that. Usually, um, so every single thing that you see in this graphical view, so even that line, the shape of the line, where these blocks are, and so on, they are all specified by annotation.